What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be revealing how one of my dropshipping stores was able to do $550,000 in revenue the very first year in business. And not only am I gonna show you exactly how I found this product, but I'm gonna be going over the entire advertising strategy and show you how you can implement this in your store in 2022 and get some amazing results. Plus, I'm gonna be sharing some tips and tricks that most people who make videos like this would never mention. So if you guys do get some value, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. But without further ado, let's get into today's value. All right, so first off, I know there's a lot of haters who are gonna be in the comments saying, hey Tan, you didn't make 550K your first year, so I came with proof. As you can see on the Shopify analytics, the very first year we were able to generate $552,000. And just for the people who don't believe this is real still, I'm gonna refresh the screen, and as you'll see, it's gonna show $552,000. And the crazy thing is the next year after that, we were able to generate even more, $620,000. So over $1 million was generated from the super simple strategy I'm gonna be going over today. So now that you have proof, let me show you exactly how I found this product so you guys can find your own product that can make you over a million dollars. Now keep in mind, it's not just every and any product's gonna make you over a million dollars. There's a methodology that we need to use and there's different criteria that we're gonna be looking at when we are finding our product, but it's relatively easy to find products if you know what you're looking for. So literally all I did was come over to AliExpress and look up workout equipment. My goal was to find a problem solving product that I can introduce to this marketplace. So when I looked up this term, I scrolled through different products that had opportunity and I would look at products that have a good star rating. So as you can see, this one's 4.5 and has 2,777 sold. So we can open this product up over here. And as you see, this is a jaw exercise ball that that you can get for $1.63. And why this product can be so successful is because it's a problem solver. There's a before and after of using this product. So someone who buys this product expects to see some sort of a transformation. So we should be looking for products that have that exact same effect, something that gives a transformation in the person's life. So I found a very similar product to this product over here. Now in 2022, what I recommend that you just look up workout equipment on AliExpress and pick one of the first listings, I actually don't. I think it's gonna be pretty difficult for you to sell some of the products that come up on the first page of the search term just because the sheer amount of saturation. So one tip and trick you can do when you are using AliExpress to find products is to just type 2022 at the end of it. So as you can see, I'm gonna type 2022, and now you're gonna see there's a different group of products that come up. Products that are newer and products that could be less saturated. The thing is when you're drop shipping, you have an unfair market advantage if you can come in before everyone starts selling the same product. So for example, this product over here, I've never seen this before. It says it's an LED wrist power hand ball, and I don't really know what this does but it looks pretty cool. It looks like it has some LED lights on it and it's saying that it actually trains your grip. So the wrist rotation basically helps you build muscle and after you do this for a little bit of time, you're gonna look like this guy that they have in this infographic. Now let's say for example, you actually wanted to sell this product. How do you know it's a good product to sell after you found a product? Great question. There's a few different things that we can do at this point to verify that. And one of the easiest things that we can do is just hop over to Google Trends. If you've never used Google Trends before, basically this website helps us tell the search volume on different keywords. So for example, we could come over to here and we could literally just look up wrist ball over here. This is one of the keywords in the product. So we'd be looking for some keywords that describe the product. We can just type them into Google Trends over here and we can see how the search history is actually looking. So for this product over here, as 
as you can see, it has a pretty steady graph. It's nothing that really indicates to us that this product is a good seller. But for example, let's say we look up a trending keyword over here, like hair eraser. This graph actually gives us a lot of information. So if we go to 2004 to present, you can clearly see that over time, this product has gained notoriety. And right now, there's the most amount of people looking for that. So this is a good metric that tells us that people are interested in the product, but there's other metrics that we can look at to tell if this product is worth selling. And I wouldn't use Google Trends by itself. I would also look on TikTok and I would look on Instagram and Facebook to see if there's anyone who's already selling your product. It's a good thing if people are selling your product already, but if you see 40 different stores and they're all advertising the exact same product, then I would say that is a metric of saturation. Ideal situation, you look up these products and they don't have too many people selling them yet. So you're relatively new into the marketplace. Because keep in mind, product could literally make or break your store. If you don't do this properly, then there's no way your store is gonna be able to do $500,000 its first year in business. Finding products is not an exact science. To be honest, the best way to find products is to just find a problem in the marketplace. Let's say people are having trouble working out from home. That's where you try to fill in the gap with certain products that you think would fulfill that need. So I know that's a little bit more complicated but if you want to think about this a little bit more high level, then you'll think about it in that essence and it will give you a lot better indication on products that you can sell because you're really looking at the problem rather than the specifications behind the product. So I hope that makes sense. And now that you guys understand about the product, let me hop into the advertising strategy because I think if you can understand this advertising strategy, then it's gonna be relatively easy for you to go out there and basically get sales on demand because this method is super powerful. Now, when I say your advertising strategy was simple, it was super simple. I mean, even a teenager could do this. 95% of our sales were coming from Instagram with this strategy. So let me show you exactly what we're doing. When I was first advertising, since we were selling a fitness product, what I was looking for was different fitness influencers on Instagram. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this method in 2022, cause it's changed a little bit, but basically all we were doing was going on to Instagram and we were looking at fitness. So you need to identify your demographic. Since we were selling fitness products, we were looking for people who were interested into fitness. So this could be replicated into so many different avenues. Let's say you're selling a cooking product. You could be looking for home chef on Instagram, if that makes sense. So once you figure out the demographic, make sure you're looking that up on Instagram. And as you see, there's literally hundreds of different micro influencers and also big influencers that are posting content. And a lot of these people aren't really making any money doing anything on Instagram. So this is where you can come in and you can offer them some way to monetize themselves. So for example, what we were doing is we were looking for smaller pages. This page has about 10,000 followers. So it's a perfect candidate and what you could do is click message and you could say, hey, I'm from Super Gym and we're looking for affiliates who can promote our product. I'm gonna send you the product for free and you're gonna be able to make a portion of the sales by using this link. So here's what we're actually gonna be doing for them. You're gonna be sending them the product for completely no cost. They're gonna get the product in their hands. They're gonna create content and you're going to offer them a way to make money doing this by just putting a link in their bio that has a code that will track how much money they're making from their posts and they're gonna be able to get a percentage of that. And there's tons of different apps that you can do this on Shopify. I've personally used Refersion. It's a good app. It's definitely expensive but I would look for some other apps if this is out of your price range now this strategy works really good in the beginning because you're able to basically test your product for almost no cost up front since we weren't actually paying these people we we're just sending the product to them and our product was only about six to eight dollars to get the product to their doorstep so it was definitely a great opportunity once they posted it on their page but here's how you can ramp it up to a different level. A lot of these people that you're going to be looking at will have more than 10,000 followers, maybe 20 to over 100,000 followers. And a lot of those people, 
they might not be inclined to do the affiliate deal. So this is where you can switch things up. You can offer to pay them for their post. And this will give you a lot bigger range of people who you can work with. Because basically all we were doing back in the day is have them post a selfie of them using the product. But here's what I recommend if you're wanting to use this exact strategy now. As you see, the content style that's really taking off today is going to be the real style content. So what you would wanna do if you wanna do the affiliate option is to instead of them taking a photo of using the product, ask them to create a reel or a TikTok of the product. The great thing about getting content like this in 2022 is this content can go a lot more viral. So as you're collecting these, you can also post them on your social media, which will help attract more sales than them just doing it scaling your store. So let me show you how we're able to build some fundamentals for this product and brand to give it some longevity because obviously when you are selling products on AliExpress, it can bog you down because there's other sellers coming into the market and you're gonna have to compete with that. So let me go over a few different competitive advantages you can implement into your store that will help differentiate you from everyone else. Because trust me, this is actually really important. So number one, the first thing we did was reinvest into our brand. When you have money coming in and it's cash positive, which means that there's profits happening, you don't wanna hold on to that money. I know that can be somewhat of the natural reaction when your store is to do well, is to stockpile that money, but this is your opportunity to fuel that business and help it grow even more by investing that profit into improving everything. So the very first thing we were able to do with this brand was to private label the product. For example, this hair eraser over here, it's a $6 product and they've branded this very poorly on AliExpress. But here's what you can do with private label. There's this brand over here. It's the exact same product, but look at how they merchandise this product. It looks way higher end. They were able to invest in graphics over here and they're able to actually put their brand name on this product. So if you see, you can take a product that's poorly merchandised like this and with just a little bit of investment cost, you can transform it. So that's exactly what we did with our product. We not only got our brand name on the product, but we completely changed up the way this product was distributed. We added customized packaging, so we put our brand name on this product, and we also improved our fulfillment. We got this into a fulfillment warehouse that was able to be delivered worldwide in about five to nine days. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. This must be super difficult, and I don't have much capital to get off the ground. Well, don't worry because this is actually not that capital intensive of a process as long as your brand's doing decently. So I don't recommend doing anything that I'm mentioning at this stage until you have maybe 100 to 200 orders coming in per month. But once you're at that stage, you can just reach out to suppliers on Alibaba instead of AliExpress and they'll easily help you customize your packaging, your product, and there's a lot of third-party fulfillment websites that you can work with that will store your products in the United States and help you distribute it. So by implementing all the stuff that I mentioned on this video, we we're able to create a rather profitable brand and I know this system still works in 2022. It just obviously changed a little bit with what platform those are going on. So maybe you'd use TikTok over Instagram instead of Instagram posts, focus on the reels. So definitely go out and try this method and let me know how this works for you guys. If you did get some value, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and give this video a huge thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.